Hello and welcome everyone. So uh, let us continue our discussion on probability. I have taken two more questions here. Uh, so the first question is from NCRT, question number 21. A lot consists of 144 ball pens of which 20 are defective. The shopkeeper draws one pen at random and gives it to her. What is the probability that she will buy it? She will not buy it. Okay. So in general we have how many pens? Total number of pens. We have total we have 144 pens. Out of which 20 are defective. Defective pens are 20. Now if if you go and go go to a shopkeeper and buy a pen, if you, if he gives you a defective pen, will you buy? You will not buy. So that is what is being asked in the question. Okay. So uh, the question is saying, what is the probability that she will buy the pen if the shopkeeper picks uh, a pen at random from 144 pens? Okay. So out of 144 pens, 20 are defective. Means good pens. Good pens. That is. Pens which are not defective are 144 minus 20. So this will be how much? 124. So now, what is the probability that she will buy it? So probability that she will buy the pen is equivalent to asking that what is the probability that on drawing a pen uh, in random that the shopkeeper is going to present a good pen to him, uh, to her not a defective one. So how many good pens are there? 124 good pens are there. Out of 144, 20 are defective. So out of, if you get one pen out of this 124, then it will be fine. Okay. If you will, if you will get one pen, uh, pen out of this defective pen, then it will not be good. You will not buy. Right. So what is the probability that she will buy it? So probability means total number of favorable outcomes. A uh, number of favorable outcomes means 124 divided by total number of possible outcomes is 144 so you can simplify it uh, 7 to 31 36 so the probability will be 31 by 36 now what is the probability that she will not buy it she will not buy it means obviously she will not buy it probability of not buying and be represented so 1 minus 31 by 36 so this will be simply 36 is equal to 5 by 36. It's very simple, right? It's very simple. So LCM is 36. I don't need to simply, I don't need to, I, I hopefully I don't need to, you know, explain the steps which I am saying. The logic is okay, isn't it? Okay. So let me quickly go into the second question. Okay. <coughs> the second question says, A, A and B are friends. What is the probability that this is example six? What is the what is the probability that both will have different birthdays? No, different birthdays means suppose A is born for example. Suppose A is born on first January for example. Suppose A is born on first January. So B should not be born on second uh, first January. He may be born on second January, third January, or any day of the year. Okay. So total number of days. Total number of days in a year is 365. Out of 365 days, on one day, A will be born. For example, 1st January, just an example. So, what is the probability that both will have different birthdays? Different birthdays means B should not be born on 1st January in this example. So, out of 365 possibilities, one possibility is always already taken up by A. So, B is left with how many possibilities of being born? 364, isn't it? Because uh, one day is reserved for A. Because they are asking, what is the, the question is asking, what is the probability that A and B will have different birthdays, right? Different birthdays means uh, the favorable outcomes, the number of favorable outcomes for B to be born will be 364. Because one day is reserved for A. Hope this is clear. So, what is the probability that both will have different birthdays? Both will have different birthdays means 364. Number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of possible outcomes. This will be the answer. Okay. What is the probability that they will have the same birthday? So, the probability that have, they are having the same different birthdays is 364 by 365. So, the, uh, the probability of they being born on the same day will be 
one minus three sixty four by three sixty five. So that will be three sixty five minus three sixty four by three sixty five. That is one by three sixty five. Here we have ignored that this year is a leap year. Okay, where we have ignored, ignoring, it is a leap year. It will be given in the question because if it is a leap year here, number of possible outcomes will be three sixty six, isn't it? So it's not a leap year. Okay, okay. Hopefully this is clear. Okay, let let's consider another example. I have taken another example. Ah, uh, question number ten from your book, uh, NCERT. A piggy bank contains hundred fifty paise coins, fifty one rupee coins, twenty two rupee coins, and ten five rupee coins. So in general, total number of coins are total coins. Number of coins are hundred uh, plus fifty plus twenty plus ten. So in general, we have one hundred eighty total number of coins. These are the total number of possible outcomes. If it is equally likely that one of the coins will fall out when the bank is turned upside down, so if the piggy bank is turned up, turned upside down, a uh, one coin will fall. Okay, what is the probability that the coin that will fall from the piggy bank will be a fifty paise coin? So probability that the uh, coin will be a fifty paise coin. Okay, so how many fifty paise coins are there? Hundred. So hundred. These are the. This is the number of favorable outcomes. What are the total number of? What is the total number of possible outcomes? One eighty. So one eighty. So we get five by nine. So this is the probability. Okay. Now next, what? Uh, uh, what is the probability that the coin will not be a rupee spine? Will not be. So let's cal calculate the probability of getting a coin. Uh, getting a five rupee coin. So probability of having a five rupee coin. P probability of having a five rupee coin. Getting a five rupee. Coin. How many five rupee coins are there? Ten. So ten divided by one eighty. Is this the answer? One by eighty. No, this is not the answer. This is the probability of. This is the probability that the coin which will fall out of the piggy bank will be a five rupee coin. But they are asking. It will. Uh, but the question is asking, what is the probability that the coin will not be a five rupee coin? So not be a five rupee coin means probability of it to be a probability that the coin is not a five rupee coin will be one minus one by eighteen, isn't it? Simple. So this will be eighteen. So seventeen by eighteen. So hope this. Uh, Discussion on probability will help you. Uh, if you have any queries, just let me know. So we'll stop here. Thank you.